everyone, James Mansell here bringing you yet another video. Oh my God, we're nearly approaching the end of December. That's right, we're in mid-December, Christmas is only a few days away and I'm rushing this out. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I'm actually probably not gonna be doing a Christmas episode this year because, well, I'm all christmas out. I gotta buy all these gifts for my family. I gotta do all this. I'm just so busy, you guys. I don't, I can't anymore. I'm over the holidays, okay? I'm over 2020. It's hard to believe, but I'm over the holiday season. Ugh. Actually, I should do it more extra, like Christina Aguilera did the Christmas song, like the holiday season. <laughs> Happy holidays. <laughs> 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 Have y'all seen her do the Christmas song? Oh my God. <laughs> she saw on her to-do list, all there was was the most. Yes, I love it. Oh my goodness. So now that it's the end of the season, or at least, you know, until New Year's comes and I have to brush something out for that, we are going to be working on a wig. Yes, we are going to be transforming some cheap wigs that were submitted to me. We are doing Dollarama part two. Yes, because I have a whole box of these sitting around and I gotta get used to them somehow, okay? They took up a lot of space. Now, in case you don't remember this, let's go back in time to Dollarama episode one. Ooh. I managed to get something kind of cute out of this. It would work for like a great Gatsby kind of party, especially if you're on a fix, okay? We're on a budget here on this channel, all right? 20 friggin' wigs, oh my God. I don't know if I'm gonna have time for all this. I might have a nervous breakdown before the end of it. Anyways. Ooh. <laughs> Wow, what a walk down memory lane. I can't believe I'm going to revisit this. Yes, let me pull out the wigs I'm gonna be working on today. All right, let me just dig through this real quick. I found these ones and I also have more available in down below if I decide to add more hair. But we have these hippie girl ones. Look at that, hippie girl or guy. I love that. She's versatile. So, I'm going to try one of these on and I'll be right back. <laughs> Hello, my cool cats and kittens. Welcome back. <laughs> I look like Carol Baskin in this wig. Oh my goodness. Well, this is how the wig was intended to be worn with the headband and everything. I wonder how, what kind of moment would it be without it? Let me just take it off for a second. I mean, this color's not bad on me. If it were like, you know, a nicer texture wig, I probably would rock this. This is actually a pretty cute color on me. But this wig is awful. All right, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take this off and start styling it. I, get it off my head, <laughs> get it off my head. All right, I am back. Now I saw some of you asked me in the comment section, you wanted me to do like an Avril Lavigne or Mariah Carey inspired hairdo. So here you go. There we are. And voila. <laughs> here she is. <laughs> a long wavy straight hair with a center part. You're welcome. All right, video's over. Bye everyone. Okay, okay, okay. So, I'm going to style this out today. She is a lovely brown color. And we're gonna try and create something with this. I don't exactly know where I'm going with it yet, but I have a few ideas. So, well, first things first, I need to get teased out. And as you know, with these cheap synthetic wigs, just attack it, honestly. These things are like $2, just have at it. Oh, also an interesting fun fact about this wig. Check this out. So, that's how the front looks, very lovely. Look at the back. Look at the back, look at the back. Hold on, let me show you, let me show you. <laughs> Where the sidewalk ends, my goodness, look at that nape. Horrible. We're gonna have to do some hair magic here, but it's fine, it's fine. I'm gonna figure something out, we're gonna be all right, okay? I've done enough wigs on this channel to where that doesn't worry me as much. We'll see. I may live to regret that. This wig will be like, you'll learn to fear me. <laughs> yeah, like I said, the teasing is really, really easy. Like, especially on these certain color of wigs, like if it's brown or like earthy tones, they usually tease out pretty well on cheap wigs. So I'm not too worried about that. I just need to get it all teased out and then hopefully the back looks okay. So let me just get this teased out quick. <laughs> all right, I am back. Now, I actually thought of a hairstyle while I was teasing this out, so we're gonna do that today. Okay, I have an idea I'm gonna show you. So first things first, I just need to root out a hairline quick because we're gonna need one for this style. And we're gonna do it all around the head. Well, not all around the head, but at least all around the front of the head. <laughs> okay, so let's just start rooting a hairline out quick. Rooting out a hairline. So the idea I had was 
I'm going to go back to Old Faithful, which is either an updo, the 80s, or the 60s. And we're going to do the second option, the 80s today. Yes. 1980s Punk Queen Christmas. Yes. That's what we're going to do today. Because we've been doing a lot of like classic, very pretty hairstyles. I want to get good and ugly for this one. Yeah. Let's do something that says this girl rocks hard around the Christmas tree. <laughs> when she says she's rock around the Christmas tree girl, it's a mosh pit. Yes. Someone on Facebook was talking about rooted hairlines and I saw it and it said, I don't really like rooted hairlines that much because it kind of serves like, you know, a werewolf. <laughs> I never thought about it that way. But when you see a really bad rooted hairline, they can tend to look like, you know, Michael J. Fox and Teen Wolf. <laughs> Ooh, a werewolf idea? That'd be a good idea for a wig. I should do that. Why do I always get these ideas after the holidays have passed? <sighs> okay, now I'm just gonna finish rooting out this hairline. It's not gonna be like a be right back. It's gonna be like a cut and we're back because I just came back, so cut. All right, here we go. It is time to do our next step. Now I have the rooted hairline all finished up. It's looking good. I'm very happy with it. Now it's time to separate hair from the top. I'm pulling sections from here, almost like I'm gonna create a ponytail, but we're not gonna do that, okay? I have some sections hanging down as well because this hair needs it. There is no hair in the nape of the neck, so we're gonna have to save some there. And we're gonna do a mohawk today, or at least a faux hawk, as they call it. And since this hair doesn't have enough to achieve that, we're gonna use the second piece. So, let me just pin this off for a second. Now, I already teased this up off camera. So this is our second hair piece. It's the matching one like that. And I'm gonna take some bubble wrap. I'm gonna stuff that inside. And what we're gonna do today, it's a little different, is I'm gonna take this and fold it. So it's closed shut like that, like taco style, you know, like a euro. And I'm gonna take some zip ties and just tie it up and close it off. So it's gonna be a mohawk piece. So it doesn't need to be a big wide bouffant. It needs to be narrower and create that shape. You can even roll up some of it too, just to close it off. And since it's like a netting, it'll be easier to do. If this was like a full actual wig, it'd be a lot harder. Now, that is gonna be our mohawk hair piece. Now, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna prep it for a join. And to make my life a little easier, I'm gonna take my brush and just start smoothing it down along the sides, this side and that side. So that way, when I put it on, it's gonna make it a little easier for me to shape it into a mohawk with the rest of the hair. <laughs> As you can see, a lot of hair is falling off of this. Oh my God. Okay, looking pretty good. A little staticky, but that's fine. Take the hairspray, got to be glue. <laughs> what we're gonna do is a little unorthodox and take my hands and just smash it together like that. Cause I want it narrow. That is prepped. Now let's turn this around. And there's a little patch right here. I'm gonna take that and add it in. Take some pins and temporarily pin it. All right, we're gonna join it together with zip ties all along the back of the head. And then we're gonna work to blend the two together. <laughs> all right, I am back. It is all attached now. Now it's time to start combining them and creating a style. Now, whenever I think mohawks, I always think of like, you know, 1970s, 1980s, like the punk scene, like Nina Hoggins or like Susie Sue, that kind of like great 80s, 70s, you know, chicks that had so much fun with their hair. My absolute favorite was probably Wendy O. Williams. I talked about her a little bit on this channel, but I never really go into detail a lot about who she was. Like y'all probably hear the name Wendy Williams and think, you know, like talk show host, but there's actually two as far as like famous Wendy Williams goes. There's, you know, the ill-famed talk show host, and there's also the 1980s punk singer from the Plasmatics, who was famous for being like an ultimate stunt queen. It's funny how every Wendy Williams is a stunt queen, but anyways, yes, she was a stunt queen. She was known for being sort of like a shock rock kind of entertainer. She was one of the first to start doing like, you know, sawing disco balls in half and kind of like crazy antics on stage along the lines of like an Alice Cooper type, but female. Now, I loved her because it's one of those first images of like really strong, powerful women in media that got a lot of traction in the 1980s and 90s and things like that. Like she was talked about a lot as far as like shocking rocker moments. Like she was always topping those lists. So I kind of like got to know who she was via VH1 years after the fact. But I always, always, always adored her. And she actually had like a little legitimate career in film and stuff. She did like reform school girls back in the exploitation era of filmmaking. <laughs> Whereas like get some girls together and film a trashy movie. And also 
Speaking of her shock jock things, she was one of the very first to do like sorts of like crazy things on stage. And she actually predated Miley Cyrus back in the day in like the early 80s. She actually got arrested for getting creative with a sledgehammer on stage. <laughs> Let's just say that she simulated some things that she shouldn't have been doing. And 1980 was very, very much a different year from 2020. Let's just say that she got arrested. It actually happened here in Milwaukee. She got arrested for doing that and beaten up by the police. It was a real big scandal. And she actually ended up suing the Milwaukee Police Department after it. Very, very, very scandalous performer. And she hated cops after that. Like she had songs called like, A Pig is a Pig. But I love those 1980s shock lady kind of hairstyles where it's just like girls who didn't give a f Like they fully just went full tilt with the look and just, you know, balls to the walls as far as shocking people when creating entertainment that was unlike any other because entertainment in the 80s was very, very sterile. <laughs> when you look at like who the top pop stars were, a lot of it was very, very lame. Okay, I'm gonna start doing a haircut on this because it needs one desperately. I'm gonna cut it a little short and especially short in the nape of the neck. Well, not that short because I don't have that much hair back there, but enough to disguise what I'm doing. And this is pre-teased, so wherever I cut it, it's just a shortened length, but it's still kind of long because it's all teased down. So once I start brushing through it, more hair is going to come out. See, that's already a longer piece from pulling it. And I'm cutting an angle because I want to encourage like that flare to happen at the bottom. Uh, okay. Now I love 1980s and 1970s punk fashion because again, it was just like a lot of women had a lot of fun with their looks back then as far as like just creating a very jarring out of this world kind of look. Like so much, it was so much in the pop culture, like it would be jokes on the Golden Girls. They talk about punk kids, you know, and like the way the media portrayed them was so interesting. It was like the pariahs, like heavy metal is rotting our kids' brains. <laughs> it's so interesting to see. And it's just kids expressing themselves, honestly. And it's just crazy how like, that's still the things people say today about like, you know, TikTok and stuff like that. Like whatever the new trend is, people always like the older types have find a way to not like it and say it's corrupting people. Angle it and pull it back here. And don't worry about this little thing showing. This is like so stretching, just push it right up. It won't show on the final product. Need more than that. One. And what I'm doing right now with bobby pins is just encouraging a place for it to go before I hit it with hairspray and heat. Because I want it to like stay solid in one base, but I just need something as like a placeholder to keep it there before I like definitely do some work to solidify it. All right, so check it. It's a line going along that all the way to the nape of the neck. And I'm gonna do that to the other side as well to push it together and have it go solid so it goes straight up. Oh, okay. It's all pinned down the sides. That was a lot of work. Okay, now I'm gonna go through with my pick and start our styling. I'm gonna give it some Eagle Claw bangs, cause why not? Starting to get somewhere. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, that's so gross. I love it. <laughs> Ugh. One era I never get tired of, the 1980s, cause the hair is heinous, but boy, does it make a statement. <laughs> okay. All right, now let's get working on this section. I'm gonna do a curly mohawk. I decided since there's a little bit of curl to the hair, it'll also help disguise the bobby pins along the rim of it. Use a hairspray to encourage the curls, make it look a little nesty, and create like, you know, the wall of thorns like the latter scenes of Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> Y'all remember that? Oh, I used to love that. That was my favorite movie growing up, Disney. Sleeping Beauty with Prince Philip when he's like slicing through the thorn bushes to get to the princess. He's got all caught on it and stuff. Oh, I loved it. Memories. She's kind of giving you like gorgeous ladies of wrestling, like <laughs> um, Ruth's character when she was the Russian. Oh, that was a good show. I can't believe they canceled that. They always cancel everything good on Netflix. It's like, it's a miracle on my block is still here. They try and cancel that every single year. Netflix is like, what? It's not about privileged English people. We don't want it. <laughs> so gross. I love it. Create a more of an undercurl on these bangs. Yes! <laughs> so heinous. All right, through our other side. Teasing with the pick. Get it nice and gooey. And this creates like that suburban girl who's like a cheerleader by day and a punk rocker at night. <laughs> I would watch that movie, oh my God. Like that episode of Dario when she runs on the Britney at that goth club. 
All right, yeah, there we go. Now she's coming together. Now I just gotta trim this hairline and I think I wanna do something fun with this. Let's see. I got it from Target. It's purple hairspray, like temporary color. Now at Party City one was trash. That one almost killed me. So let's see if this one is going to infect my lungs like the last one did. So I have the cardboard. I'm gonna draw some little cheetah prints and put them on the side of the wig because I think that would be really cute and punk. Punk! All right, so here we go. All right, now I just need to cut these out and I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, I have some shapes cut out. I'm gonna put it there on the side. Let's see if it holds the color. Hey, it does! All right, kind of got a little bit on the other side, but that's fine. I know now more close range. Yeah, she's rocking a little harder now. That is cool. Let's do a little bit on the sides here. Add a little more flair. There we go. That is cool. Okay, let me just do the other side. She is looking like a punk chick to me. Okay, I am going to do some finishing touches and try this on and I'll be right back. <laughs> Welcome back. This is the final result. Now I have to say this Dollarama wig wasn't so bad this time around. So like, I really had a really easy time styling this one. Like it was a little scary at first, but I think I got the handle on it. And also with the hairline, there's something I have to address about the hairline. <laughs> when I cut it and I put it on my head, it stopped about right here. So I took the scrap from the hairline, you know, the part that hangs down. And I showed you this before. I just took it and just attached it here and cut it to my own frame. That happens when you have a bigger head and you do rooted hairlines, you can absolutely do that. And it really works. Like as long as you just trim it and spray it real, real hard and go over that blow dryer, Go over that blow dryer, girl. I can't stress that enough. It really does actually help the hairstyle. <laughs> I'd say I actually end up really, really liking this hairstyle. I would totally wear this if it was in like a different hair texture. But like, I have to say like it's stiff, but it's gonna hold its shape, girl. I can get into a fight and it probably would still hold its shape, okay? <laughs> I'm really happy with it, I have to say. Big, big thank you to Mike for sending me this big box of wigs. I can't believe I got another fun hairstyle out of this. I have to say, I like this one even more than the first one, that green one. I really like the way this came out. <laughs> Now this wig is fabulous, but it is just missing one more thing. Where the hell is my wig spray? Oh, here it is. The Jane's Mantle Magical Wig Spray from Black Phoenix Alchemy Lab. Let's just give this wig a spritz. Ah. Now my hair smells just like cream soda. Available at blackphoenixalchemylab.com. And grooming can be an absolute drag, but thankfully I have Manscaped. Use my code JAMES20 or MANSHEEL for 20% off your purchase plus free shipping. And I would like to take a moment, a Venmo moment where I thank everyone who's tipped me on Venmo. I would like to thank Gabrielle, Keith, Sergio, James, Chio, and I also have some PayPalimonies. Oh my goodness, I want to thank you again, Chio. Thanks for the PayPalimony as well. As well as Lisa and Karina. Thank you so much, honey. And Susan. Thank you all so much for the PayPalimonies and the tips on Venmo. Thank you so much for making this holiday season so worthwhile. And thank you guys so much for watching these videos. Oh my God. <laughs> We've done some real goofy ones this season. And thank you so much for just going along with the ride with me, okay? Now, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, bye. Hit the outro. Click here and watch my Betty Page wig recreation. Or watch my Cindy Lou Who wig recreation. Come on, click it. You know you want to. If you don't click it, I'll make you watch every season of House of Cards. So click it. <laughs>